Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, January 24th, 2023. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. And just before we begin, if you could like, share, subscribe, let your friends and family know where you get your favorite weather information from. It actually helps the channel out quite a bit and gets the word out about what we're doing here. So that's always a good thing, right? What's not a good thing is the potential for some snow lovers on the coast to get what they want. Look, I'm just going to be honest with you. Maybe this isn't our year, but I can say we will see a few flakes tomorrow morning. Just don't expect much to actually stick. So let's let's get into this forecast. For right now, we have a series of troughs moving through. And it's producing some scattered broken cloud cover. Winds are from the west-southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. They will be veering to the northwest as we move on through the day. And colder air will be building in. Temperatures this morning range from the mid to upper 20s over the far northern interior, lower to mid 30s in your suburbs, mid to upper 30s in your urban areas and along the coast. As we move on through the day, a series of troughs and cold fronts will be diving through, transporting colder air into the region. I can't rule out a passing flurry, but for the most part, I'm just looking for scattered cloud cover today. However, if we take a look at our infrared satellite picture, you can see trouble is starting to brew here. This is our storm that's starting to organize in Texas. Now, what's going to happen is that this feature here is going to interact with this feature here, become a pretty impressive storm right around Missouri, Iowa, and Illinois, and head towards the eastern Great Lakes. While that's happening, warm air will be racing up and clashing with the cold air that's building in now. And that is where our story begins, because that's going to lead to a breakout of precipitation that initially will start off as snow. But everyone, even the Poconos and Catskills, will be changing over to rain as this storm tracks up towards Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, and the St. Lawrence River Valley, driving warm air northward and then cold air racing in behind it as the storm departs. So that's the overall theme here. So the question is, how fast does the snow change over to rain? And that essentially will dictate our forecast for our storm tomorrow. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, sky cloud cover is expected. A flurry is popped here and there as a cold front moves through. Look for high temperatures in the mid to upper 30s over the northern interior, lower to mid 40s along the coast. For tonight into tomorrow morning, high pressure will be in control. That high pressure system will be centered over the St. Lawrence River Valley, which is right about here. And that's going to funnel in cold air into the region. That's going to lead to low temperatures over the interior in the upper teens to lower 20s and along the coast, mid to upper 20s. So the cold air is in place. Later in the morning, say after 8 a.m., snow will start to break out. And then that snow will quickly change over to rain along the Jersey Shore and then gradually change over to rain from southeast to northwest throughout the region. So... Locations like the I-95 corridor, New York City, Philadelphia, that changeover will be pretty quick. However, locations like in Scranton, in a lot of northeastern Pennsylvania, northwest New Jersey, the Catskills, that changeover will take longer and you'll deal with snow, sleet, and then rain as that transition continues on through the late morning and afternoon hours. So travel, not exactly very good. So this is what we're expecting in this scenario. In Zone 5, which is basically the Jersey Shore and the southern suburbs of Philadelphia, don't blink, you might miss the snowflake or two, and then you're just dealing with rain. In Zone 4, you'll see a burst of snow at the start, and then a quick change over to rain, and then you'll go back and forth between snow and rain for a short period of time until about 1 p.m., and then after that, it's just rain. Looking for a trace to maybe an inch on some grass, the roadway should remain wet. In zone three, this is where it takes a little bit longer for that transition to take place. Looking at one to three inches, again, the roadway should be wet because the temperatures will be marginal. So any type of treatment should keep the roadways generally in good condition. But watch out for some slick spots. Uh, looking at about one to three inches on cold surfaces especially in some of those heavier bursts of snow. And then zone two and zone one, this is where we have the deeper cold air, longer period of snow and sleep before that change over to rain. In some cases, in the highest elevations, you might get all the way to the end of this precipitation event before you finally change over to rain, which 
basically going to make this mostly snow. So in those zones, in zone two, you're looking at three to six inches of snow. And then zone one, four to eight inches of snow. And in this area, do not be surprised if we get some heavier bursts and some enhanced snowfall rates. So uh, definitely something to watch out for for late tomorrow morning on through the early afternoon hours as this transition marches its way from the coast into the interior. While that's happening, temperatures will steadily be rising. So we're looking at high temperatures over the interior, and this is going to be in the evening hours, ranging from the upper 30s to mid 40s. Meanwhile, along the coast, they'll range from the upper 40s to mid 50s. By the time we get to Thursday morning, the storm will be marching its way towards New England. The precipitation will be coming to an end in the form of rain. Temperatures will be holding in the 40s and 50s and then gradually fall throughout the day as colder air builds in. And we could see a few snow showers mixed in as that cold air comes in with temperatures falling throughout the rest of the day. So basically your low and high temperatures, your morning low and your, and your high temperature are going to be pretty close uh, as temperatures begin to fall the rest of the afternoon. By the time we get to Friday... Look for a sky cloud cover. Again, passing flurries possible, but nothing really too significant. Much colder with low temperatures ranging from the mid to upper teens over the interior, lower to mid 20s in the suburbs, mid to upper 20s along the coast. High temperatures will rebound into the mid to upper 20s over the interior and lower to mid 30s along the coast, mid to upper 30s in your urban areas. On Saturday, a cold front will pass through the region with sky cloud cover and a chance of a rain or snow shower. Look for low temperatures to range from the lower to mid 20s over the interior, upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior, lower to mid 40s along the coast. On Sunday, a stationary front will start to linger around the region with broken cloud cover and a threat for a few isolated showers. Not looking like a major impact for the region at this time. As far as the Eagles game, shouldn't have too much of a weather impact either. So for the most part right now, we're looking at dry conditions with a light southwesterly to westerly wind. Temperatures on Sunday will range from the upper 20s to lower 30s. The lows and high temperatures will range from the lower to mid 40s over the interior, upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. On Monday, we have our front that's going to be hanging around the region with broken cloud cover and scattered rain and snow showers. Now, low temperatures will range from the lower to mid 30s over the interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the upper 30s to mid 40s over the interior and upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. But as the front drops, the temperatures will crash with it because we're going to have a very impressive thermal gradient over the region with Arctic air to the north, very warm air to the south, and we're kind of caught in between. So on Tuesday, with that stationary front hanging around the region, again, variable cloud cover, with temperatures ranging quite a bit from the single digits to the upper teens over the interior and lower to mid-20s along the coast. High temperatures range from the lower to mid-30s over the interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. However, if this frontal boundary ends up a little bit further north, we could easily be pushing into the 50s in southern New Jersey. And if this drops further south, Philadelphia could easily be stuck in the 20s, depending on where this frontal boundary lines up and how the precipitation starts to break out. So an active weather pattern definitely is uh, starting to evolve as we head towards February. Whether that means rain, snow, or sleep for you, well, we'll keep an eye on it as an Arctic air mass and a tropical air mass begin to clash. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.